Welcome, my friends, to another breaking news of Jerusalem's Gate. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well. It's wee hours of the morning. Uh, just breaking from the Times of Israel. Uh, I just came across it in a very interesting article. And this is what happens, like uh, the situation that happened in the UN yesterday when uh, I think there were 128 countries uh, voted for the resolution to rescind uh, President Trump's acknowledgement of the truth that Israel is in fact the capital, I mean Jerusalem is in fact the capital of Israel. Uh, title reads, following UN vote, Hamas calls for a quote, red bloody day, end quote, in West Bank. Continuing this protest of Trump's Jerusalem re- recognition and amid fears that protests are quieting down, group's chief, Yawa. Uh, Sinwar offers detailed instructions for violence. See this. This is how. This is what it breeds when you get legitimacy to that. Uh, Hamas Gaza chief uh, Yahya Yahya Sinwar. I hope I'm pronouncing her first name right. In a rare televised address on Thursday, called for Friday to be quote a red bloody day, following the day's United Nations vote against U.S. President Donald Trump's recognition. Of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Let's get in. Let's go into the article a little bit further. Sin work off on all quote the people of Jerusalem, the West Bank, and the Palestinians everywhere to spring into action on Friday. So it will be red bloody day for the occupation. He said in a speech broadcast on Al Akuza Television. Quote, I call for turning Friday into a decisive day in the struggle of our people to bring down the decision of Trump. He added, speaking before a crowd of uh, Gazan uh, youth, uh, amid fears in the terrorist group's ranks that violent Palestinian protests against Trump's December 6 announcements were fading, Sinwar gave specific instructions to would-be attackers in an explicit bid to fan the flames in the West Bank. Now listen what he says. Listen what Hamas is uh, wanting. He urged Palestinians in the West Bank to head towards places of contact with IDF forces to attack the soldiers. He also urged attack, uh, urged attack against Israeli civilians living in the West Bank. That is what it happens when uh, uh, the nations give legitimacy. Well, I shouldn't use the term legitimacy because it's not. Uh, or give ear to uh, turning uh, against Israel and the United States. It breeds uh, a bloodshed because uh, they're strictly the Hamas is strictly using that as an example to call war against IDF soldiers and even Israeli civilians. So it's very dangerous uh, what happened uh, yesterday at the the UN. Extremely dangerous. Uh, that so many countries voted uh, against the United States and Israel. Uh, you will see, uh, trust me, as, as sure as I'm talking in this microphone, uh, you will see that that will, blood, that will uh, entice violence. And uh, it, you see it here by Hamas using that for an example to... Uh, spread violence uh with that in said i wanted just to get this breaking news out to y'all uh we uh, let's stay in prayer uh ladies and gentlemen uh us christians should always uh what i always say we always should support israel we uh we owe everything spiritually to the jewish people uh in the name of jesus christ yeshua i pray that everybody is blessed and protected thank you and shalom